This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express, so we're live on three. Thanks for choosing us on this uh, uh, Thursday morning. I almost got the days wrong, literally, but unlike its Western counterpart, we're talking about Chinese medicine, or TCM. It is based on the view that an illness is an imbalance of qi. So we're talking here about a universal energy that's, energy that's making opposing forces, yin and yang, constantly flowing through our bodies. Now, as we know, uh, the medicine that we are uh, uh, familiar with, the materialistic approach, that relates to illnesses and only the pathogens and, and basically biological actions measured. But even though there's skeptics out there, we know that, well, this type of medicine, and I'm talking here about Chinese treatments, we know that it works. So we've got our doctors here this morning, Dr. Kasim and Dr. Ma. We've also got our model here. Uh, Graham is going well, to be getting some willing, willing, willing this patient morning, yeah. this morning. He's going to be getting some treatments this morning. But before we even get to the demonstration, let's take a look at what it's all about. Over 5,000 years old, traditional Chinese medicine stimulates the body's natural healing power through various treatments, the most popular being acupuncture. In contrast to the allopathic doctor, a Chinese doctor may treat every patient differently. This is based on the notion that one treats the individual patient instead of the disease or the condition. Chinese medicine not only suppresses the symptom, but rather harmonizes the internal environment of the patient, thereby alleviating the symptom. A Chinese medicine consultation requires information on lifestyle, habits and physical symptoms. This helps the practitioner plan the acupoints along the routes where qi flows called meridian lines. This we start off with an in-depth consultation, querying habits such as bowel habits, sleeping habits, energy levels, etc. This is then followed with tongue diagnosis and pulse diagnosis, which helps the Chinese doctor to trace the root problems and therefore adjust his treatment accordingly. A typical acupuncture treatment lasts approximately 20 minutes. Needles are inserted quickly and manipulated using flicks, twists or simply shifting them up or down to help to release the qi or vital energy and treat the problem. I do rock climbing, so most rock climbers get either tennis elbow or golfer's elbow, one side or the other, at some point in time or other. So I was quite concerned. Then uh, um, we went, for, I think it, it was probably two or three treatments, and already there was there was results after the first one. And consequently, I've 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 had both elbows give up on me and and get get healed. Kim Kardashian and Gwen Stefani both had acupuncture during their pregnancies as it's said to alleviate some symptoms. The needles are extremely thin and flexible, so they don't cause pain. But a common question is, is it painful? Or is it dangerous in any way? A mild pricking sensation is experienced upon the insertion of the needle. But beyond that, there is no pain. You can safely enjoy an acupuncture treatment at the hands of a registered practitioner. It may help to ease your stress, alleviate pain, and even take you to a point where you can find balance in your life. Now, interesting stuff, and we're talking about it and finding more about Chinese treatments versus, well, Western medicine, as we call it. As I mentioned, Dr. Kasim with me, and also Dr. Ma, we've got Graham lying down because we're actually going to do the, the procedure on him. But I'm curious about this because there are various TCM practices, uh, including ac acupuncture, and only a few facilities where you can actually obtain qualification. So, I mean, Dr. Ma, I want to start with you. Uh, Graham now has a condition. Graham, what are you suffering with? Well, as is um, the case with a lot of us with traveling all the time and the kind of exercises we do, my back and neck, especially at the top here, have become okay. really knotted and, and um, tight. So. Do you have flu-like symptoms? Because I know you've been sick. Yeah, I've also been, I think, very run down, and I think it's okay. all kind of tying into the same thing. So, all right. Um, yeah, the flu, if, I mean, if you can do that with a needle, so I will... Dr. Ma, explain to me what you're going to be doing. I mean, d the pressure points that they talk about. Uh, what would you be doing with Graham right now as he's lying down here? So actually, I realize uh, f uh, for Graham, his condition first is the shoulders, mm -hmm. feels a kind of pain, and then he got a chronic flu condition. So mm -hmm. that is, but then we will look at this two separate disease as something a little bit the whole of this one particular person. Mm. Okay. Now we talked about imbalances and imbalance mm -hmm. of qi. What's the difference between Chinese treatments and Western medicine? Mm. Okay. So especially like the pain in this shoulder area, mm -hmm. we regard as kind of imbalance of qi and then cause a kind of a 
we, we regard the qi as a kind of uh, um, body energies. Mm. It doesn't flow fluently and got a, a stagnation, and then it causes the pain in this okay. area. All yeah. right, so there's a pain in the area. Doctor, you can get started there. Graham, good luck. Good. <laughs> also, good. Dr. Kasim, uh, the awareness and also our attitude regarding Chinese medicine. Is it growing popularity in South Africa? You know, I almost want to say that uh, you either go, oh, I want an adventure, I'm going to go to a Chinese treatment, or you go, I'm going to go to a conventional doctor. Is it growing popularity? It definitely is growing, and especially now with the establishment of the School of Natural Medicine at UWC, it is now available to a broader uh, range of communities. Now, UWC offers the Chinese medicine, also acupuncture, uh, natural medicine department, like you call it. Tell me more about the, 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 the training. What does it entail to get this degree? Firstly, um, the school has been in existence for 10 years, and it offers four disciplines, Chinese medicine and acupuncture being one of those disciplines. Right. The other three is phytotherapy, naturopathy, and unani tib. Unani tib being a Greek Arabic form of medicine. Mm -hmm. So the degree that you would then um, enroll for is a five-year degree. It's full-time. Okay. But the degree is divided into two parts. The first component, which is three years, is completely a BSc component, and the second year is a two-year um, program where you do specialist courses in your particular discipline. So this is serious stuff. I mean, you're talking about a BSc degree. I mean, I initially thought there's uh, just treatments that you go. The same as when you were a, a, maybe a massage therapist, if we can call it that. This is a serious degree that you can go on and you can actually treat patients. Absolutely. It's a diagnostic tool that you're using in order to treat, as you said. Um, apart from the theoretical components, we also have a practical component to the degree. And the practical component you're only allowed to do when you are in your years four and five. Okay. Well, doctor's already inserting some needles into Graham. Graham, is it sore? Is it painful? Not at all. Not at all, I, he says. I can feel the hands more than I can feel the needle. Okay, so I see doctor's inserting something there. Okay. Okay. So th there's no pain, Graham. Not at all. No, you feel, Doctor, you feel you the pressure inside. Doctor, what are you busy doing now? No. Dr. Ma, mm -hmm. I see you concentrating very much there. What are you doing at the moment? Actually, we, we put a very thin needle. We call it a filiform needle. Mm -hmm. It's very thin. It's a little bit thicker than the hair. And then we put it in to where exactly the sensitive point. Yeah, if we are on the right point, and then the patient going to feel something, a little bit of deep pressure feeling, but there should be no pain. Yeah, that's no pain. exactly it. How yeah. many treatments would he have to do to, in order to uh, clear up his symptoms? I think for his conditions, I would like to recommend for about three sessions. Okay. Yeah, maybe. That's not too excessive. Yeah, every three days, three sessions, it will be fine. It will be fine. Okay. Oh, it sounds so interesting, fun times and our feel-good breakfast show. Dr. Kasim, thanks for joining us this You're morning. Welcome. Dr. Ma, thank you very much for demonstrating on Graham and not on me. Because <laughs> I don't... <laughs> no, it's not painful at all. And uh, there's another option for a career. If you were looking into Chinese treatments, I think it's very, very interesting. But uh, crazy and amazing stuff happening on the show. Uh, up next, uh, there's a, a great information, especially if you think about conservation or you're thinking about how to make your property uh, look a whole lot different. It's a whole experience, but uh, let private property tell you more.